Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the Lord's house. Amen. Another time to be glad for everyone that is here tonight. Amen. We uh, pray tonight that you'll receive a blessing from the Lord uh, for being here tonight. Amen. And uh, we got finished with the series last Sunday. Amen. I think it was last Sunday on now through the years. Amen. And we had taken uh, that out of the book of Revelation in the seven churches that uh, God had uh, sent a letter to. Amen. And tried to show everybody what the church world and the church age has lost now through the years. Amen. Well, today, tonight, we're going to try to go back Amen. And, and maybe uh, use that same period of thought. Amen. But in other, in, in, instead of showing what we have lost now through the years, to show what we still have now through the years. Amen. If that makes any, if that makes any sense. Amen. We find out in uh, Acts chapter number 2, Amen. That the church was born. Amen. That the church actually come into existence. Christ had uh, died. He had risen. He was sitting on the right hand of the Father. The upper room had done already been filled with the Holy Spirit of God. The men of God was empowered. Amen. From the Spirit of, uh, of the Lord from up on high to do great and marvelous things. Amen. And then we see a rise of the old devil, amen. We see a rise of the enemy against the church, amen. And uh, uh, so tonight we're going to try to show you out of the Word of God what we have today, amen, all because of what happened yesterday, amen. Amen. You just don't have what you have today with something without something happening beforehand, amen, to give you what you got today, amen. Amen. But so, before we read any scripture, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, dear Lord, it's again, God, that we come to you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Father, for another opportunity, Lord, of being in the house of God. Lord, how we thank you tonight, Father, for your divine presence, Lord. And God, we pray tonight, Lord, that you would have your way, Lord, in everything, God, that is said and done. Father, we pray, Lord, if we've done or said anything tonight, God, that would be contrary, Lord, to your will, Father, you'd forgive us of it. Lord, pull us up close to the cross and make preaching and teaching easy tonight. And God, whatever's accomplished tonight, Lord, will not fail. Father, to bow our head and Lord, to give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Father, for we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious grant. May we do pray and amen. Amen. Acts chapter number five. Amen. Down in verse number uh, down in verse number 37. Amen. And reading the remaining part of the chapter. Amen. In Acts chapter 5, verse number 37. And after this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of taxing and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against God. Now, I, I'm going to say something about that piece of Scripture there. Gamal, right here, is taking a stand about like Pilate did. Amen. You remember Pilate? Amen. And he said, I wash my hands of the matter. Amen. And you people do what you want to do. Amen. In other words, Pilate was trying to stand on a neutral ground. Amen. He was trying uh, uh, to be friendly with them and, amen, to be friends with Christ at the same time. Amen. This is the same thing uh, that Gamal had done here. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded them that they should not speak in the name of Jesus 
and let them go. In other words, they was pulled uh, before the council. Amen. They was brought uh, before the Sanhedrin court. Amen. And they was told, you are not allowed, amen, to teach in the name of Jesus. About like America is today. Amen. We're not allowed to pray in the name of Jesus in our public schools anymore. Amen. And it's almost got as bad out in a public restaurant that you're almost not allowed to pray in the name of Jesus. Now you can pray any other kind of prayer you want to as long as you don't mention Jesus. Amen. And so we're facing about the same thing. Now listen to what they've done. Amen. And they let them go and they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing Amen. That they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Amen. Amen. And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not uh, to teach and to preach Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now over in the book of Philippians in chapter number 1, Amen, down in verse number 29, uh, listen to what he says. He said, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on Him, but also to suffer for His sake. Amen. Amen. So if we had a thought to put upon uh, this tonight, amen, I'd like to use a thought, amen, the price that was paid. Amen. Boy, I tell you what, I guess in all the Scripture, in all uh, of the Bible, amen, that Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice of everything. Amen. Whenever He come and He died and He bled upon an old rugged cross amen. and He suffered, amen, and He went to the grave and He come out and He arose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. That was the greatest suffering uh, uh, that has ever took place. But might I say tonight, amen, that down through the years, mankind has suffered, amen, for the cause of Christ. And if they hadn't, they wouldn't have been a great independent Baptist church sitting along beside the road. Somebody had to pay a price, amen, so that me and you might have the opportunity of being in here tonight. I'm glad. I thank God that them apostles that Jesus chose, amen, they chose rather to suffer the afflictions of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Amen. But I say tonight that if we live a Christian life, we're going to suffer. That's right. Amen. If we live the Christian life, it ain't going to be a bed of roses. Amen. If we live the Christian life, it ain't going to be everybody. Amen. All the time patting you on the back. And, amen. Telling you how good you are. Amen. I, I remember whenever I first started preaching a young boy. Amen. About 23, 24 years old. Whenever I preached my first sermon. And man, I tell you, I scared to death. If somebody had said boo, I'd have probably passed out. Amen. But, you know, after I read that first piece of scripture, Amen. God sat down in the building. The Holy yeah. Spirit of God come down. Amen. I couldn't remember half of what I said. Amen. But I, but I sure know God bless. Amen. And about five people got saved that night. And I tell you, I, boy, I never forget it during that revival. Every night people would come up. Hey, boy, they put their arm around me and say, Preacher, you just keep on preaching. Amen. Amen. That's what we need. And boy, I tell you, our pastor, he told me, he said, Boy, don't get used to that. He said, Boy, there'll come a time in your ministry where they ain't nobody going to say anything except maybe something uh, against you. Amen tonight. Uh, listen, we have to suffer uh, as Peter and them suffered uh, for the cause of Christ uh, uh, to keep uh, holding the banner up uh, uh, waving it high in the air. Uh, amen. Showing uh, uh, people that Jesus uh, lives in our heart. Amen. amen. What would have happened to the church is if the apostles as I said, this is too hard. Amen. What would have happened to the church is if the apostles had said, I don't believe I can do this anymore. Amen. Brother, I'm telling you, they wouldn't have been in any church. Amen. But God, I know what He 
was a doing. Amen. Boy, there have been times in my ministry I felt like sometimes that I stand it all by myself. Amen. Did I look around everybody else gone? Amen. Tonight, but boy, God, that sure has blessed. Amen. The Bible said that if you're going to reign with me, you're going to suffer for me. Amen. Tonight, we're going to suffer persecutions for lifting up the name above every name. And his name is Jesus tonight. Amen. And boy, I tell you what I believe. Oh, Peter said, I think I'll just keep on keeping on for the cause of Jesus Christ. And you know what we need to do tonight? Honey, when persecution comes, we just need to say, well, I think I'll keep on keeping on for this man called Jesus. Amen. Amen. Boy, he suffered. He suffered. He was beaten. Paul suffered a many of the things in his ministry. Amen. Tonight he suffered because he took a stand. Amen. Tonight, damn, that don't suffer, don't take a stand for anything. Amen. You got to take a stand for something. Amen. Tonight, brother, I'm telling you, if you stand for the gospel, you're going to pay a price. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I was reading over there at the house uh, the other day, and uh, uh, somebody said in one of the books that I had over there, we fought one of the hardest battles that has ever been fought. Amen. Tonight, amen. We don't fight against people, but we fight against principalities of the air and power of darkness. Amen. Amen. The Bible and that writer said he said we need to fight without hatred. Amen. Tonight. Boy, I tell you, you can fight with love. Amen. That's what Jesus done. He won a many of the war tonight. I fight him, but he fought him with love. Amen. You take old Peter tonight. After they were, after they got done a beating him and they told him and John said, now you're not allowed to teach in the name of Jesus. You know what he come out of there doing? He come out of rejoicing in Jesus Christ. Amen. And preaching about the love of God. Amen. Honey, I'm glad that tonight we can defeat the enemy with the love of God. Amen. Fighting without hatred in her heart. There's so many people got hatred in her heart. Families has fallen out down through the years. Amen. Generations has come on that's hated each other. Amen. Tonight families can't even get along. And you go to asking questions and they don't even know what they're fighting about. Amen. The only thing they know, Grandpa hated this Grandpa. Grandma hated this Grandma. So we got to do the same thing. Amen. They'll say, what's the cause of it? They'll say, well, I have no idea. Amen. Tonight, and they just hated one another. So I guess we're supposed to too. Amen. But the Bible is filled with love. Amen. And compassion. Thank God. And the Bible said to be angry and to sin not. And Jesus was angry when he come into the temple and he seen them and the money changers there have their table all set up man and he drove them out of the temple he said this is a house of prayer and you made it a den of things but he done it with love amen tonight he done it with compassion so tonight we're fighting a war but we need to fight it without having hatred in our heart amen we got people in the church tonight. Well, not here. Amen. But we got people in the churches across America. They hate one another. Amen. They, they hate one another. They despise one another. And they're in the same building trying to serve of the same God. Now, they something wrong with that picture. Amen. They just don't work. Amen. Tonight, we're supposed to fight this battle with love tonight, not with hatred. Amen. We're supposed to love the uh, man that is a sinner. We're supposed to love that sinner. Amen. Tonight we're supposed to love them uh, to Jesus. Amen. Tonight we're supposed to show them. Amen. That God, the Christ, the love of Calvary is a living in our heart. That the Spirit of God uh, is a living within us. You know what Peter got in trouble over? 
Amen. Tonight, because he had so much power, God, it made everybody around him aggravated. Amen. Tonight, they could not believe the change in Peter. You know what they was doing a couple of chapters back? They was bringing them in all the stretchers and all the beds, and they was laying them in the street and putting them on the sidewalk, and they was hoping that when Peter come walking through, that just a shadow would come over them, and they would be healed. Boy, you talk about power, that's power tonight in God, being that close, that's a shadow, even touches somebody. Hallelujah, that's what we need in our churches tonight. Amen. Down, boy, if it had to be for me and like that, they stood down through the ages of time. Where would we be at? Amen. If it hadn't been for me, that Amen took a beat and they just kept right on a preaching. Where would we be at tonight? Amen. amen. Tonight they fought against the evilness of this old world. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you, America is so divided tonight. Amen. Tonight you got so much of this in America and so much of this in America, and America's about ready to destroy your own self. Amen. Blacks are fighting against white. Why to fight it against blacks? Racial comments are being made. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you what, it ain't nothing but the work of the old devil. Amen. And the devil is going to destroy this nation that was once founded upon God. He tried his level best. Amen. To destroy the church at a young age. Because the devil knows. Boy, if this thing gets a spark, it's a going worldwide and the devil said we got to stop it before it ever gets started. If it ever gets started, ain't going to be anything we can do about it. Amen. And the devil was trying his best to disperse the church. Amen. But boy, in spite of it all, preacher said, oh Peter stood to him and John and they preached with the love and with the compassion of God. Amen. And multitudes of people. Amen. Was added to the church daily. Amen. And he got so big. Amen. Tonight that God come to Peter and Ann. He told Peter, he said, I need you to point seven men. Amen. That is full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And of good report. Amen. That's where the deacons come in. Amen. Tonight, I had a preacher to tell me one time, he said, boy, he said, I don't believe in having deacons. I said, then you don't believe in the Bible. Amen. And because the Bible talks about having the deacons in the church. Amen. Tonight, and boy, they picked out seven of them. Amen. And boy, I tell you what, hey boy, they fall held by the handbasket too. Amen. Tonight the devil said, oh, we got to we got to set an example. Amen. And boy, we come to the place of old Stephen. Amen. Tonight they was full of the Holy Ghost of God. Amen. A preaching and a witnessing for this man called Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother Jimmy, might I tell you and Brother David, amen, tonight Tonight, uh, there'll be decisions that we make. Uh, everybody ain't gonna like. Uh, amen tonight, but as long as God approves of it, uh, uh, Brother David, that's the main thing. Uh, amen. He's pleasing him. Uh, I believe old Stevens was out uh, uh, one day a witness, and uh, hey, boy, the mob gathered around about him uh, and they leashed upon him. Uh, hey, I ain't never had a mob uh, uh, leash upon me uh, uh, for teaching Jesus. Jesus, amen, but this mob at least upon old Stephen, and you know what Stephen said? He said, I think I'll just keep on keeping on for this man called Jesus. Amen. Stephen said, I'm not going to give up. Amen. amen, tonight they appointed me to carry out. Amen. amen, the word of God, and the word of God is exactly what I'm going to do. Amen. amen, when Stephen preached to that mob that day, he was preaching to them with love. Amen. And with compassion. Amen. They seem to see God's Word. 
is full of love and compassion. It'll show you the error of your ways. Amen. Tonight, and it'll help you to get on the right path. Amen. God's Word is the only thing. Amen. That can stomp your toes, break your heart. Amen. Make you cry, make you laugh all at the same time. Amen. That's God's Word. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you, as old Stephen began to preach out. Amen. Tonight, boy, the harder he preached, the harder they come against him. And sometimes in my life, amen, the harder I preach, brother, the day, but it seemed like, amen, the more people they turn their back upon me, amen, amen, people, boy, they've come up even since I've been here, amen, tonight, they say, preacher, oh, we love you, amen, boy, you don't ever have to worry about us going anywhere, uh, preacher, we're going to be right here, uh, yeah, and when the going gets rough, preacher, yeah. we're going to be right behind you, amen, you know what they're doing tonight, uh, they got a dagger about that long, uh, I'm putting it right down through the old preacher's back. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, and Jesus said to suffer for him. Uh, and I'll reign with him one day. Uh, after a while, the only thing I'm going to keep doing uh, is just keep on keeping on. Uh, uh, for this man called uh, uh, Jesus Christ, boys, old Stephen. Uh, he was uh, letting out the Word of God. Uh, and the Word of God penetrated uh, uh, their hearts. They began to beat uh, upon him. Uh, amen. The old devil said, if we could kill one of them. Well, they said if we could kill one of them, that'll show the rest of them what we're capable of doing. Sound like a good plan, don't it? <laughs> Amen. The only thing is it backfired. <laughs> Amen. It backfired on the devil. Amen. Tonight I can see old Stevens laying there on the ground. Hey Amen. Now just picture with me a few minutes. This is a deacon in the early church. I can see old Stephen's just laying on the ground. Hey Amen. Boy, his face might be a bloody mess. Hey Amen. His skin might be torn down his arms. Hey Amen. His legs could even be broken. I don't know. Hey Amen. But he was laying there in pure agony. Hey Amen. Tonight he's still suffering about his wounds. Hey Amen. Tonight instead of begging for mercy. Amen. He had said, he kept right on telling the mob, Amen. This one that died upon the tree loves you. Amen. This one that died upon the tree, he died. Amen. That you might have life and you might have it more abundant. <coughs> And boy, old Stephen, he declared that word, amen, until the breath was leaving out of his body. Amen, tonight, and boy, I'm telling you, instead of fighting that old fight with evil, he fought it with love, amen. When he got ready to leave out of here, you know what he said? God, forgive them, amen, for they know not what. And just about the same prayer that God prayed, that Jesus prayed upon the cross, amen. And boy, I'm telling you, you get this, amen. Boy, whenever Stephen... They got ready to yield up the ghost. Amen. Heaven rolled back their curtain. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what I believe. You talk about a mob that was in a stand. But amen. Tonight there they was. They clubbing on old Stephen. And they was a beating him for everything they had. And then all it was, the heavens opened up. And boy, I'm telling you, Stephen, they give up his last breath. Amen. Tonight and that one that was sealed down uh, on the right hand of the Father uh, when they curled it open up uh, and Stephen yielded out uh, his last breath. Oh Jesus uh, uh, stood to his feet. Uh, amen. And stretched out his arms. Uh, that's what it took uh, back in the early years uh, of the church uh, for me and you uh, to be able uh, to have church today. Amen. It took somebody with enough courage and enough backbone to stand, amen, against the evilness of this world, amen, and they fought it without hatred, amen, they loved every one of them, amen, tonight their duty and their job was to get as many saved, Amen. As could be saved, whether it was Jew, Gentile, Greek, Amen. Black, white, pink, or orange, it didn't matter. Amen. Tonight they died. Amen. That they might live. Amen. And they stood and they fought against the battle. Amen. We gotta fight the battle tonight. Amen. Without hatred. Amen. And we gotta resist 
That writer said tonight, he said, we got to resist without bitterness. Don't you know bitterness in your heart? Man, it'll eat you up. It'll eat you up. Hey, Amen. Bitterness, bitterness and jealousy. Jealousy will drive you crazy. Amen. Amen. Tonight, jealousy will drive you plumb out of the will of God. Amen. Tonight, bitterness towards anybody. Amen. Tonight, boy, we don't need to have that stuff in our heart and in our life. The early church was built upon purity. Amen. Tonight, it was built upon purity and it was built upon the love of God. Amen. Tonight, and it was built upon loving one another and praying for one another. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, but here in this old world that we live in today, amen, tonight, if you're not real careful, amen, you got some loud mouth running back or running around the church and saying, well, he gets to do more than I do, or she gets to do more than I do. I just don't understand that. That ain't right. Listen tonight, honey, get the bitterness out of your heart and get the love of God in your life, amen, and let your light so shine, and you might be able to do more, amen. Tonight, listen tonight, we got to resist without having the bitterness in our life. Amen. Tonight, we don't need to be bitter with one another. We don't need to snap one another's hand off. Amen. We need to love one another. Amen. See, the early church, they was able to resist the evils, but they resisted it without the bitterness. Now, when the Pharisees couldn't win the war of putting Jesus to death, when they seen Jesus come out victorious over the grave and sitting on the right hand of God, and after they killed Stephen, they man tonight instead of the church uh, uh, becoming downsized, it grew bigger than what it ever had. Right. They man tonight because it just kept branching out everywhere. Amen. And that old Pharisee called Saul. Amen. That was standing there and consenting to Stephen's death. Amen. We find out that he was saved. Amen. And boy, they, they told the guy over in the books of Acts and go to the gate, uh, go to the street called Straight and uh, right. lay your hands up all old, old Saul and pray. Amen. Tonight. And that old boy said, God, I don't know so much about this. And man, he's the one who's throwing everybody in prison. Amen. Right. This guy, the guy's got a reputation uh, all over town. Boy, I, I don't know whether I want to go lay hands on him or not. Uh, and God said, it'll be all right. Uh, I done touched him. Amen. I touched him in a mighty, mighty way. Amen tonight. And boy, I tell you, I saw we started out on the missionary trips. A church here, church there. Church here, churches everywhere. A popping up. And then the Pharisees regrew. They said, well, I know what we'll do. We'll get into these churches. Amen. We, we're not going to try to overtake them like we did in the early church. But we're going to go in and try to teach them what the law says. We, we'll try to teach them that they're good enough. Amen. That they don't yeah. need this grace stuff. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you, that happened in several of the churches. And Paul would even <laughs> write a letter. He wrote a letter to the Galatians. And he asked the Galatians, he said, who hindereth you in this race? Who hindereth you that you don't run the race as well as what you used to? It ain't the one that called you. Amen. So it's got to be another source. Amen. So when he got down to it, it was the law that was being introduced back into the church. That's one thing you can say about the devil. He don't give up easy. Amen. He'll try this on you. And if that don't work, he'll try something else. Yep. Amen. And yep. if that don't work, he'll try something else. Yep. Amen. Tonight, and Brother Jimmy, he got more tricks and Carter got liver pills. Amen. He knows right. how to get to you. He knows how to get He knows how to get your attention. He knows how to get you aggravated. He knows how to get you upset. He knows how to get you to fly off of the handle. Amen. Tonight, but you got to remember, God is in control. Amen. And boy, I tell you, I went over 
my, I hate going on vacation. Amen. Every time I go on vacation, every time I get back home, amen, tonight it feels like something's fell apart. Amen. And I remember, thank God, one day me and Eve went on, went on vacation. We was gone for three or four days and come back and all this stuff and hit. Amen. And boy, I got so mad. I, I, brother, I, boy, I can have spit a nail through the wall. Amen. And I grabbed my Bible and got in my truck and I cranked that thing up and spun the tars of it. I coming out of the driveway and squalled the tars and going around the corner. And I got about halfway to where I was going. And God said, stop it now. I'll turn it around and go back to the house. I've got this. Amen. Because I was in a mess. I was about ready to bop somebody upside the head. Amen. Tonight, for messing with the church. Amen. So the devil knows what to do. He knows how to get us angry and he knows how to get us upset. Amen. But we got to resist this without being bitter. Amen. Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you, first time God told me to turn that thing around, I just, man, I had to hammer down on that baby. Amen. Yeah. That yeah. truck just a bouncing and going down the road. And God said, Nick, you heard me, boy. Turn the truck around now. Amen. <laughs> boy, about that time that old Toyota come for, oh, yeah. God said, you turn that thing around, you go back home. And I come back home. I was upset when I got out of that truck. He said, boy, I prayed when I heard the tires of squeal and I was praying God change his mind before he gets to where he's going. Listen tonight, but the devil knows how to do it. He knows what to bring on you. And he knows how to do it. Amen. And if you got a weakness tonight, the devil already knows what that weakness is. And he'll use that weakness every time he tries to take advantage of you. But boy, thank God for the men that stood in the early church. Amen. So I'm telling you tonight, a few of us in here tonight compared to what was in here this morning. Amen. But boy, I'm telling you what, it was a few of them back in those days. Amen. They was very few of them that stood on the truth of the Word of God. So I'm telling you tonight, amen, a few people can make a big difference. Amen. A few honest to God, born again, children of God, spirit filled, amen, can make a difference in a community. Amen. They can make a difference in somebody else's life. Don't let the devil tell you you ain't never doing any good. Amen. Because if he tells you you ain't never doing any good, that's sure a good sign. Amen. That you're doing something right. Amen. For this man called you, but to resist this without having bitterness. You know, a lot of times in our relationships between husband and wife, if we get that bitterness, <clears throat> if we get that bitterness going on, boy, that'll dissolve a marriage right real quick. You get hatred going on. You say, what in the world has marriage got to do with this? Amen. Don't you know? Amen. That we're the bride of Christ. Amen. We're the bride. Amen. I'm going to the I'm going to the supper. Amen. One day after a while. Amen. I'm going to meet him face to face. But the church has took a beating down through the years. Amen. And the churches that stand on the Word of God today is still taking a beat. Amen. They're still getting resistance from the people in the community. I had a guy to come to church here one Sunday morning and sit right back. Amen. And when I, going down the road, I was talking to him on the telephone. He was in the car. He hadn't even made it home. And I just had got home. Amen. He said, Preacher, I just called to tell you. I said, to tell me what? He said, you don't have to worry about me ever coming back into that church. 
I said, well, why is that? He said, man, I don't need anybody screaming and hollering at me and raising their voice and a preaching like an idiot. Amen. He said, I'm going to go somewhere where somebody stands still. Amen. And I can get something out of it. You know what I know? I said, God bless you, but I hope you find someplace. Amen. 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 Tonight, I'll just let it go. Amen. Let it be water on the ducks, mate. Just let it run off. Amen. Yeah. Shake your tail. Let it hit the ground. Just yeah. keep on going. Amen. Listen tonight, that's what the people in the old church done. Amen. They resisted this war. Amen. They resisted without bitterness. Amen. If somebody ever come up, one of the enemies ever come to them and said, pray for them, they was always willing to pray for them. If somebody come up that had done them wrong, they took them by the hand and say, I want you to Forgive me. He was always ready to forgive them. Amen. And let bygones be bygones. Amen. You take somebody by the hand tonight and say, will you forgive me? And you know what their answer is? Yeah, but more don't ever let it happen again because I ain't going to forget this time. Amen. That's the way we forgive people. Amen. We forgive people. We bury the hatchet, but we leave the handle about that far out on the ground. <laughs> Amen. I've heard people, whenever people come into church, they say, well, boy, you you, you got it. You, 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 boy, if you only know what they used to be. Hey, everybody's got a past. Yes, sir. This, is a, this is a church of second chances. Amen. This is a church of third chances. And we've seen God down through the years. Amen. When we give those second chances and those third chances, we've seen God over the past five years put His hand up on us and protect us. Amen. When Amen. stuff goes wrong, He just gets it out of the way. Amen. Amen. That's the kind of God He Amen. is. Amen. Tonight, He's a God of second chances. Amen. If it hadn't been a God of second chances, I wouldn't be preaching today. Amen. Because I sure messed up. Amen. Right. Like everyone else. Amen. But that's what it took down through the years for the church to be able to stand tall like it is. It took men pay the price. It took men to say, I'm going to stand on the Word of God. I'm going to stand for what Jesus says. Amen. Don't matter what Caesar says. Don't matter what Pilate says. Don't matter what Gamal says. I'm going to stand on what God says. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do it His way. Amen. Because His way is the right way. Honey, might I tell you tonight in closing, we got very few churches in America that do it the right way anymore. Right. Amen. We got very few churches in America that do it the right way. Right. Amen. The biggest part of them is taking the easy way out. Amen. It ain't easy to serve God. It ain't easy to hold the banner high. It ain't easy to let a lost and a dying world. Amen. You you might say, well, preacher, I'm in here tonight. And I don't never suffer any opposition. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? I'm going to tell you something out of the goodness of my heart. You say, what's that? Do something and you'll see that change. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do something. Take a stand for God. Let <laughs> your feelings be known. And he'll stand. He can make a difference. Amen. My dad's side of the family had alcoholics. My wife's side of the family had alcoholics. And whenever God saved us and we built our house, amen, one of them pulled up in the driveway and had a beer in the hand. Be, uh -uh. No, 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 no. You're not coming in with that stuff. No. You can come in, but that stays in your car out of my driveway. Hey, I don't even want your car parked on my driveway. <laughs> hey, Amen. With that thing in your console. And they said, well, why is that? I said, because this is God's problem. Amen. Right. Hey, this is God's house. You've got to take a stand. I had people get mad at me. Hey, Amen. On both yeah. sides of the fact. The okay. early church had people to get mad against Stan when they said, hey, God wants it this way. Amen. Hey, God wants it this way. 
listen tonight. Take a stand for this man called Jesus. See what he took down through the years. We took a series seven weeks down through the years to show what the church lost. And then, then one series we could do down through the years and we see what the church still has. We still have a living Savior. We still have a living Lord. Amen. We still have a God that saves. We still have a God that forgives. Come on back to piano. Amen. So tonight, I hope and pray you got something out of this tonight. Amen. I hope and pray that it'll help you. Hope and pray that it'll be a. I hope and pray that it'll be a blessing. But I, I, I will tell you, while they're getting a song together, I want to share this one thing with you. You know what the devil will use more than anything. He'll use on you sometimes. Well, they're more of them than they are of you when you're out by yourself. Or he might even use the thing, well, you're in a public place. <coughs> and the old devil might even use the thing, oh, now's the not the right time to talk about Jesus. Honey, might I tell you tonight, they ain't never a bad time to talk right. about Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Any time's a good time Amen. to talk about the Lord. Amen. Take a stand for what is right. Amen. And God will bless you. Amen. Let's all stand as you've got page number. 373. Page 373.